Hey everybody and welcome to another Learn to Digitize video. My name is Sue and I am from OML Embroidery and OML Digitizing and today we're working in Hatch, Wilcom Hatch, awesome program. If you haven't tried it, you've got to try it. It's a game changer. Today we're going to be talking about lettering and underlay and what you need for underlay at the different sizes. So let's go to our lettering docker, which is on the left, and you just click on lettering, and it twirls down and gives you everything you need. So let's do lettering, and we're gonna put just OML loves hatch, because that's what I always put. OML loves hatch, and we're gonna make this a little bit bigger and we're gonna look right in on it. So what we're talking about today is underlay and what you need for underlay. Now, you do not have to change the underlay. Hatch is a very, very smart program and for lettering and for most other things, it will pick the proper lettering for what you need. Let me just change that, maybe we can see. Let me change the color of it and we can see it a little bit better. So generally, you don't have to worry about the underlay. This is just if you need to make any changes. Now, the general rule for underlay, if you have very small lettering, very small, now this is still quite large, if you have very, very small lettering, like let's see how small, and uh, again, Hatch is gonna change it around. All we have there is a center line, and that is more than enough. It's this line going through. That is underlay. Let's see if we make it a bit smaller. And it's still there, but that's okay. It's still not small enough. Anyways, you get the idea. What it is, if it's small lettering and you're kind of getting bunched up, you can see in the E here, Let's change it to true view. You can see we're just on the brink here of it being a mess. But if you want to lighten it up, you do not have to put underlay for small lettering. And if you wanted to change that, you absolutely can. And it's right here. So I just went on the object properties and I went to stitching and you can change it. You can change it to whatever you want. I wouldn't, however, on this small thing, you can add underlay, you can change it, you can change the stitch length, the stitch spacing, and the margin from edge. So when you have the center run, or the edge run, sorry, if you have the edge run, you can move it wider, medium, or normal. So just generally you leave it on normal and it's fine, but let's zoom in here and see. So I changed it to edge run and it runs around the edge. So if we change it to wide, look how it changes. It leaves wider from the edge and let's change it to medium. So that'll be somewhere in between. This is pretty small, so it doesn't change it too much. So that's how you can change it. So you can change that for any of the lettering. Now, if you go bigger, way, way, way bigger, way, way, way bigger. You do need more underlay to make the letters look better. Now we're getting quite large here. Let's see, compared to our hoop. Oh no, we're not even close to that. I was just zoomed in. So let's make this really big and pretend we're doing it on a jacket back. Now having one underlay again, again, Hatch will pick what we want, but I think, let's zoom in here, I think we're gonna need more underlay on it. So let's click on it. Let's go, I would want for this size, cause it's quite large, double zigzag, and you can change everything. And I'd want another layer and I'd want the edge run. That's how I would do it. So you can change the underlay for lettering. You don't really have to, it's going to, um, Hatch is going to pick the best one for you. So the general rules are, just so you know, if it's small letters, you don't need the underlay. Really small lettering is hard to work with and it's a special skill to work with it. 
but generally, again, you don't need underlay. If it's six millimeters to 10 millimeters, which is kind of a, a normal size, you use the center run, which most of the time when you do it, you'll see a center run. If you're doing 10 millimeters or larger, then you do an edge run and it helps gives it, give it a nice sharp edge on it. If you're doing something really large, like we're doing here for a big jacket back, you could do double, double zigzag and it makes everything just stand up that little bit more and look better. Or you can use a 3d satin even and that would look good but just uh generally just leave it. it it hatch knows what it's talking about but if you want to change it those are general guidelines for it and that is how you make fantastic lettering here inside hatch embroidery thanks everyone for watching don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel to let me know that you want more videos just like this Thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.